struggling to get over the narcissist in your life that you can leave. You know, the ones that aren't family members that you might be obligated to spend time with. I'm talking about romantic narcissists in your life. Maybe you don't have any children. Maybe you are able to walk away, but it's really hard, especially if you're trauma bonded. I know because I've been there. Here's what helped me in the very beginning. I watched hours, I'm talking hours of YouTube videos by Shaman Sister Sin. I don't know if you know who that is or anyone out there is familiar with who she is, but I'll tag her below. I'm not sure if she has a TikTok. I will find out. And the thing that I like about her, of course, YouTube is just inundated with, and TikTok, uh, tips and tricks on how to get over your narcissist partner. But for some reason, she resonated with me because she just, she just talks like, I don't know, like she's your friend. She, you don't feel like you're on the therapy couch, but oh my God, does she have that wisdom that you need to have to break away from these narcissists. So that's the first thing I did. The second thing I did, and don't laugh, because it works. I changed my passwords to all self-affirming sentences. You're worth more. You can do it. That's the password. Um, what else? I believe in you. Trauma bond 101. And if you don't know what a trauma bond is, Google it and look it up. It is hardcore and I have been in a trauma bond for years so that is particularly difficult to break free from that I would recommend therapy well I would recommend therapy to anyone breathing on the planet but that's a whole nother Oprah <laughs> so yeah just change your passwords to self-affirming words sentences you're worth more you deserve better I, I believe in you I have faith in you you can do this. You're doing great. You know, and then of course, passwords will want you to do like one uh, symbol and one cap or one, num you know, a number in there too. So I think I did trauma bonding 101 and capital T, capital B. That was one of my passwords. Feel free to use it. I also did, um, you're doing great. And then I just put the year of my birth and the capitalized, uh, the why, you know, stuff like that, but just make it positive and affirming. And when you change your passwords, just for now, I know it's kind of annoying, but just for now, unclick the box that says, remember my password. That way you have to type it in every single time. So it gets in your brain. You see what I mean? Smart, right? Let me know if that helps you. It really helped me. It's small, it's silly, but it works.